This is D, and let's dress for life. That's what's up. Chadwick Boseman just died. Very, very sad. Here's another thing that's very sad. He died probably because he was from South Carolina. And this is what I mean. South Carolina has a rich legacy of, what's that word, racism. You think about mm, Strom Thurmond. You think about mm, Dylan Ruth. And who is that lady who blamed um, the death of her kids on a black man? And I mean, they ran after a black man. And it was, it was only after, after pieces started not fitting together that they were like, ooh, hold on. Let's put the, let's, let's stop chasing this guy. And let's take a look at this lady. And, and we can go on and on and on. And the reason I'm talking about that is because of stress in America. I, I applaud Chadwick because maybe it's because he was from South Carolina that he made sure that he did not play roles that compromised him. Uh, no, no doubt his, his experience at Howard University led to that, but, 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 or, or I should say fostered that, but most certainly he played roles that showed black man, showed black folk in a positive light. And just looking at his movies could do much to empower young black folk and even older black folk. So, so much respect for what his legacy was. But interestingly, interestingly, I wonder as we talk about South Carolina, I wonder if his family history, I wonder if, 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 if that being black in America had much to do with him having colon cancer. Think about it. And this is not to run Chadwick Boseman down. Let's be very, very clear. Much respect for the young brother. But here's the thing. Stress manifests itself in the human body. And one place where it really manifests itself, especially when we talk about overwhelming long-term stress, is in the digestive system. New to, I've known of too many individuals who had serious constipation, who had serious diarrhea, all related to stress. And unfortunately, unfortunately, many individuals do what when they get under stress? They have very poor diets, significantly poor diets. Why? Because they're looking for some level of comfort. They're looking for some level of stress management. Understandable. But here's the thing, my brother. Here's the thing, my sister. We have to keep our bodies strong as we're dealing with the various stressors of life. I, wanna, I, wanna, I, wanna, I want you to think about Chadwick. One thing that he did, which we should all do, is adhere, he adhered to a total plant-based diet. Not part of, partial, but total. Now, I know there, there are plenty of individuals who will say, well, it didn't work for him. You don't know what worked for him. And added to that, you don't know how much sooner he would have been out of here if he wasn't adhering to a plant-based diet. Don't use his death to colon cancer and him being a total vegetarian as an excuse for you to adhere to a diet that is completely contrary to, to long, healthy living. Take care of yourself. These things right here, you can grow these yourself because I promise you, everything here, well, a couple of things <laughs> are not from my, from my garden, but everything else is from my garden. And my brother, my sister, if a caveman can do it, <laughs> you can too. These are the things that promote life. These are the things that, 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 that add to life. Now, the thing is, we can say all these wonderful things about Chadwick Boseman that we want, 
But I think that if we really, really want to honor him, there are two things that we can do. Number one, make sure that we live our lives in such a way that we are models for our community. And number two, make sure that we're doing the very best to take care of our bodies so that we can be around for a good long while, impacting folk in a positive light. Well, that's all we got for now. This is D and Let's Dress for Life. That's what's up. Peace.